What's going on Juggalos? Cali Green 2 Fresh here. I'm currently in the tunnels with the one and only JPK. How you doing, man? I'm chilling, chilling. You know, here in Minnesota, you know what I'm saying, enjoying the lovely snowy weather out here. That's what's up. I'm over here in California, so <laughs> not too much snow right now. He's lucky as hell. You is lucky. <laughs> We actually, we did have a little bit of a, um, a snowstorm, though. Um, first time in, like, 40 years or some shit like that, that, you know, we got inches of snow up here where I'm at. I'm in the mountains in Orange County, and it was the first time in, like, 40 years we had snow, so it was pretty fresh. Damn, that's deep. That is real deep. <laughs> so for all those juggalos out there who don't know who you are, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Yeah, yeah, we we'll, we'll and all that. It's your boy, JPK, born and raised in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Currently residing in Fairville, Minnesota. And uh, I'm just your average motherfucker. <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> I mean, you know, nothing special. So, you just recently released a new album, Reinventing My Reality. Why don't you go ahead and tell us about that? Uh, RMR is the newest release, yes. Reinvent My Reality, basically, uh, the reason why I named it Reinvent My Reality is because I had moved from Wisconsin to Minnesota, and, like, basically every CD that I put out, I, I basically uh, put my life into my music, so <laughs> it was more of me, uh, it, was, it was more of detailing the move from Wisconsin to Minnesota, so, yeah. That's what's up. I remember reading on your Facebook page that the name of the album was actually inspired by Twisted's renditions of reality. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. And you, and, and you, you are the first person that actually got the hashtag ROR because um, everybody was asking me, what does, what's ROR? And I'm like, really? You don't? <laughs> Pretty it's dope. A little cheesy, you know what I'm saying? It's a little cheesy, but like it worked for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. Nah, it's not at all cheesy, man. But um, pretty much like half the songs were um featuring DJ Corbett. Why don't you go ahead and tell us about him and how you got hooked up with him? Um, DJ Corbett is one of the producers that I work with that I became extremely tight with. Uh. You know, when I first started rapping in New Jersey, he was one of the the, the producers. He's a producer on SoundClick, of course. I know a couple people probably know him or whatever, but like we became tight. And uh, I I had took one of his beats and I had made made a song. Uh, well, not me, but actually me and Red, uh, the the Where I Am song. And from that point on, like he he loved our flute. He loved what we did with the track and um I mean me and DJ Corbett have been working together for years so um that's that's basically how me and him became me me and Red snatched up that beat uh where I am and it was on from there like you know so shout out to DJ Corbett definitely definitely one of the producers like uh, unknown producer who who can make a beat from literally just instruments not not beat padding it not uh computer work like he 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 records his own instruments and then he does what he do so yeah that's what's up so let it be known you you know you're a juggalo whoop whoop and um how exactly did you, uh, you know, discover ICP and get down with the clown? It was on a video channel, three, three, four in the morning. You had to stay up late night for it. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because after Let's Go All The Way was on TRL for a week, well, really a couple of days uh, on the 
East Coast. You know what I mean, they snatched that off real quick. Um, it was this uh, kind of explicit underground thing called, well, in the East Coast, it was called Video Music Box. Like, when you get more to the Midwest, it was called The Box. But on the East Coast, it was called Video Music Box. And they would play, like, uh, all the uncut videos, you know, like the videos with the asses and titties out. You know, it, it was basically an uncensored channel. And they would play some ICPP shit. Like, uh, another love song was played on there. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's that's basically how I found her uh, music or whatever. And constantly seen, seen as whatever I, you know, I grew a liking for it. You know what I'm saying? And it was weird. Me being in the hood, like, you wouldn't even think I would even, like, listen to something like that. But, like, I'm different. Like, I have an open mind. So, but, yeah, that's 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 basically how I found the ICP video music box. Real talk. That's what's up, dude. Um... Do your friends give you shit for it? <laughs> for being down with the clown? Oh, man. Let me tell you. <laughs> bro. I, listen, we can... We can... Uh, you know, we can do this interview for three days or we can do it for, uh, you, you know... <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, man. <laughs> like, but no, I'm gonna get to like... Man, I used to... Man, I remember bumping the shit in my room and I'm looking out the window and I see... Uh, my uh, people from the hood walking down the street er, turned it down. You know what I mean, just walk past the crib. You know what I mean, then when they walk past, turn turn it back up. Cause yeah, I mean, growing growing up in the hood, it's like you know, you know what I'm saying. The people in the hood expect you just to listen to rap music or or the hardcore or the, or the you know, I'm gonna shoot them up, shoot 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 them up, and shove them drugs. Like they, you know. They're so close-minded, and I'm not talking shit on them, but it's just like, you know, when it comes to music, I have a very, very wide variety of music that I listen to. I just don't only listen to rap. You know what I mean? Like, Sting is one of my favorite rock groups all the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I listen to IGP. I listen to Twisted. Like, you, you know... I listen to the oldies like Marvin Gaye and the Temptations and the Isley Brothers, like, you know, so it's like, you know, I even listen to some, you know, some, some alternative and I'm probably going to get, uh, you know, a little junk for that. But, you know, like music is music, man. If, if it moves you or if it inspires you, man, you shouldn't be ashamed of what you listen to. And that's real talk. That's what's up, man. I know what you mean on the... You know the whole tip with uh, living in the hood and people giving you shit. I was, I was one of you know three white boys, you know, in an all black neighborhood, and <laughs> you know back in the '90s, you got hardcore shit, you know, for the sh you know what you listen to. Yeah, so. yeah, for real, because it's like, like, and, yo, that's crazy. You said the '90s because if you wasn't listening to like Jay Z, uh, uh, Andy Siegel. Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas looking at you like, yo, like, but why are you looking at me like that? Just because I don't constantly look at them, like, just because I live in the hood. Like, you know, like, you shouldn't judge me on what I listen to. Like, what you like is you, what, what you like, you listen to. What I like, I listen to. Like, you may not agree with what I listen to, but hey, that's on you. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you mean, man. Like, in my in my hood, it was all about you know, it's all about Master P and you know, like you said, Jay Z, Dr. Dre, and I got down to a lot of that stuff. But yeah, they didn't they didn't notice that. They noticed, oh, you're you're listening to like ICP and Corn, and you know, they right. try to, they try to outcast you for that shit. But you know, it's times are changing, and it's it's good to hear that there's a lot more people being open minded. You know, you hear about like. You know, back in the day, I would have never heard a juggalo say that they get down to like Bootsy Collins or some shit like that. But in this day and age, it it don't matter, you know. Right. So that's like, that's pretty fresh, I think. Yeah, man. It's like you know, not, like what people don't understand about being a juggalo. Like people get that term messed up because it's like they think they gotta go out and do all this bad stuff, buy all this merch, get tattoos or whatever. That's cool and all. Like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? You're rapping. But basically, in my opinion, like being a juggalo is about being yourself. 
You know what I mean? Like that's you know what I mean, that's what I take that's what I take take from it. It's about being yourself no matter what nobody thinks about you. You know what I mean? Like it's bigger than us now. It's bigger than the music. You know what I'm saying? And like now now at these times especially, you know what I'm saying, we we need to come together and teach some of the new ones. You, you know what I'm saying, that understand it because they got that understanding messed up. And some OGs, you know, they clown on newbies. I I do too. I'm not going to sit here and say I don't. You know what I'm saying? But if we clown on them, we, we should also try to, you know what I'm saying, bring them in and teach them. Like, yo, dude, you ain't even got you ain't even got to do all that. You ain't even got to be that loud. You know what I mean? You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no, there's some of these people out here. I mean, they're just, you know, they're really loud about it, but then two, three years later, you know, they're just, they drop off completely. And exactly. It don't even make sense. It's like, yo, like, I saw you, you know, head to toe. You had the hat, you had the shirt, you were wearing the fucking shoes. <laughs> Right. And, you know what I'm saying? You, you had the socks too. Yeah, <laughs> I had the socks to go with the shoes, and now and then you just drop off completely. Oh, I don't rep Juggalo anymore. You know, it's it, it can't even be like that. If you're down with the music, that's all it's about. It's about the music, you know. Yeah, and it's like that's that's and and that's where like you know us as OG need to step in. So you know what I'm saying? Because it's like all right. You know, one day you were just all down for it, and then the next day you're like, oh, you know what? You know, those, you know, that's, <clears throat> it was like a fad to them. Like, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I mean, it was cool at that point, point, point in time. Like, but to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I look at it different. Like, I, this is the way I live my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it wasn't, me, me finding the juggler world, like where the hell would I be right now? That's real talk. I can't even lie. I'd probably be dead or in jail or some shit. You know what I mean, cause girl, growing up in the hood, you, you know what I'm saying? You got them influence. A, a nigga's on the corner. You know what I'm saying? They making two, three thousand dollars a night and you just sit, sitting there. You can't find a job. You trying to go the straight way and shit. And you're like, well, damn. Like, I want some Jordans. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not sounding like, too bad right about now. <laughs> like so, like the influence is there. You know what I'm saying? But like, I'm just glad I stumbled across I, I see P and shit and twisting and blades because it's like now it's like all right, y'all can have the streets. I don't care about the streets. Like y'all niggas fighting over the streets, and the streets is gonna be here when y'all niggas is dead, dead and gone. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, exactly. Like, so, um, when exactly did you first, like, what was your first, like, let's say, you know, family experience? When did you really get to know, like, the Juggalo family in a whole? My first, my first ever show, real, real talk, was like, uh, it was, it was oh, oh six, was it oh six or oh seven? It, it was the Tempest release party. Okay. With, it was a Tempest release party in Philly. Yeah, because I'm ashamed a lot, baby. That's 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 just you know I I I mean like that's that's just the way it is. Like you know I keep it real. I don't sugarcoat. You know what I mean like some people. Oh, I've been down since since COC. Yeah, name <laughs> name two, two tracks on there that's that's not hits. And uh, um um. Yeah, no, see, that's not me. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep it real. You know what I mean? Like, but, um, yeah, with the Tempest release, uh, the Tempest release party, because they had it in, in Philly at the Electric Factory. You know what I'm saying? It was 06. Matter of fact, it was 06. Real talk, because they did it in the winter, and the, the next year, 07, I went to the gathering. Yes, I got it. Don't worry about that. Know that. Whoop, whoop and all that. It comes back up. You hit the bomb a couple times, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, that was my first. That was my first like show slash juggalo experience. I went. Nobody judged me. Uh, nobody gave me like, oh, well, what is he doing here, face? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's all that family love. 
Yeah, it was like boop, boop, boop. You know what I mean? It's that, you know what I mean? Like, buzz, like, buzz crazy. You know what I mean? Niggas outside in the parking lot, drunk as fuck, not giving a fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was, you know what I mean? And, and back, back then, I, that was around the time where, like, the magic was still there a little bit. You know what I mean? So I got to experience that. You know what I mean? Because I got to see it change. You know what I'm saying? Because it has changed. You know I mean? Oh, definitely. So, Between, like, you know, the Tempest into, you know, um, Bang Pow Boom, there was a, a huge, huge change. I mean, my first show was 1997, and it was fucking crazy, man. I swear, I was 10 years, I was like 10 years old. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my mama, she dated a juggalo at the yeah. time, so she took me along because I used to go to all types of shows. And it was fucking crazy. I mean, the love was there back then. You know what I mean? And it was just starting. It was just starting, but it was it was there. You know, we didn't have the we didn't have the whoop whoops and all that shit, but there was still that love, you know, you could feel it. There was that energy in the crowd. And it seems like somewhere around Bang Pow Boom, whenever they announced like, you know it, it wasn't you know, they didn't yet announce that they were doing the um a new set of Jokers cards, but it just kinda something happened i don't know i don't know how to explain it but there's like the this like all these new, like i guess you could say newbies like these new schoolers i don't know what you want to call it you know we're all family but you know like just a new like breed almost a juggalo where they're taking it to the next you know that ridiculous like a uh, high school mentality level i guess you could say yeah right 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 I mean, like, like you, like you was there when, like, niggas wasn't even like, you know, like after the show, they out back, you know what I'm saying, sitting, sitting outside the bus, and they like, yo, what's going on? I mean, who got the bus? You know what I mean, like, Man, first time know, I saw it, it was it was a straight up bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, you know, like. Yo, know, after the show, you could just chill with these niggas. Yeah, you know I mean, they fucked up with them. Yeah, you know I mean. Right, and then I remember I was at the I was at the Dark Lotus. You know, the first um, Dark Lotus tour too. Whenever you know Blaze and Twisted opened, and you had ABK as the hype man for Blaze. Like, I was there for that shit. Um, I ran into actually I ran into Jamie Madrox at a fucking mall in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and it was like a night before the show, and um. I was like, hey man, like I want I want to see you guys. What's up? And he's like, what's your name? And he's like, all right, can you be at um actually I think it was Wisconsin. Uh, he's like, can you can you make it to Wisconsin tomorrow night? And I was like, hell yeah. I'll have my mom drive me. All right, there'll be two, you know, you'll be on the guest list, you and your mom. And we showed up, didn't even know, if, you know, he was, you know, speaking truth or not and sure enough man like you know there's that family love you know i just saw him in a fucking mall he hooked it up and that's right. whenever you know like all the chants and all that shit started was around you know dark lotus yeah. and i remember i just remember that energy and you know whoop whoop and they were that was when they unveiled the sixth and all that i mean it was there you know it was raining diamonds that's for sure real talk like i mean that's that real old Real OG shit, like I posted on Beef Master page. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, the, man. Hey, talking about that a little bit, how did you come up on that, like, fresh... You know, me and Beast Master were, were just talking about his album literally right before you sent us those pictures. How did you come up on that album? Well, like... I, me and my homie Chrissy has, like, shit... That like I I save a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? That I get, you know what I'm saying? That I like, you know what I'm saying? Let me put it like that. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, and I don't know what gathering was. I don't know if it was a way to oh nine, you know, where I got that sam. Yeah, you know I mean, where I got that CD dog, and I got it and I played it one time, and I said, yo, this is dope. That's what's up. And I put it the fuck up. You know what I mean? I played it one time. And I was like, yo, this is dope. And I put it up. You know what I'm saying? And it's been in my collection with my CDs that I dropped because I always keep 
a CD when I like you, you, you know when I press up the CD I got one keep you know as keep keepsake for myself you know and it was in that pile of my CDs and uh, I had found found the box I was chilling with my homie Steven shit yeah, yeah who I live with him and his wife and I was going through my shit and I see this CD and I'm like yo and I'm like, oh, shit. I was like, yo. So I was like, yo, oh, wait, this is the dude from Spirit of Sin. Oh, shit, it is. So I was like, yo, that's why I hit you up. Like, yo, I, yo, I got some pictures. I took pictures of that shit. I was like, yo, you got to send these pictures to him, yo. Because, like, I, I remember getting that shit, dog. Like, real talk. Like, that, that, that CD is in is with my personal collection of my CDs, like, that's how dope that shit is, like. Yo, he goes, he goes deep on that, you know, on, uh, Dear Joe and Joey, and yo, he, he goes yo, deep on that album. Yo, Dear do- yo, Dear Joe and Joey was my shit, I'm getting goosebumps, and I'm not even lying, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting good. like, Dear Joe and Joey was a track that got me, yo, real tough. Real talk, I man. That's what's up. Uh, he's actually, he actually just announced that um he's gonna be working on some new material. He hasn't done an album in a few years, and something's supposed to be dropping this year. Like maybe we can uh, hook it up. You guys can do a track or something. Oh, I'm down, son. Like that's that's like real OG. Oh, I mean, like yo, that that would totally make. My mother, yo, know, if that can happen, <laughs> like, if that can happen, like, that, that would be crazy. Like, real talk, like, like, I'm over here cheese and, like, I'm about to do a track with Twisted. That's, 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 that's <laughs> what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, man, that's crazy. Cause, cause I've seen that, dog, I'm, I'm not even trying to be, like, going to some other shit. It's just when I've seen that shit, it brought me back to the fucking gather and I got that shit. Like, Real talk, and I know Beastmaster know was gathered. I just don't know which one. Real talk, I know he know which one. It was always oh nine. I can't remember. Real talk. Yeah, man. I think it. I think it might have been oh nine. I was at that gathering too. That was before I knew Beastmaster, and um, I'm thinking I might have actually kicked it with him. Like he might have been like the first group of people I kicked it with, and. You know, I don't even fucking remember. <laughs> yo, yo, for real, because that was the 10th annual, right? Yep, that was the 10th annual. Yeah, real, real talk. And I, 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 I don't know if he was on the hill, or but but the only thing, I know I, I chilled with a group of homies from Massachusetts who was camped on the hill. So that might have been him. You know what I mean? Like, real talk, because I'm, man... Boy, shout, shout out to Beastmaster. That's my motherfucking motherfucker <laughs> and all that. Know that. I'm going to say it proper. Know that. No, know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> know that. Yeah. Beastmaster, that's yeah. the true down ass fucking ninja right there. And Speaking of Beastmaster, he just designed a really fresh flyer for you for a contest um, that we got going on. Why don't you go ahead and tell the people about that? Yo, the contest is crazy. Um, it's, it's, uh, JPK's Valentine's Day Hip Hop Giveaway. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You got Light JPK page, like North Carolina Juggalos and Juggalettes page, and you got Light the Spirits of Dark Carnival page. Comment on the pic, share it, and on Valentine's Day, the winner will be announced, and they get the entire JPK CD collection along with two shirts, one being a Super Negro shirt, one being the New Jersey JPK shirt. And they also get the motherfucking charm. You know what I mean? The charm. And that charm's fresh. I just, I actually, you've been doing all types of fresh giveaways in the underground. You know, I just won your, um, oh, fuck, what was that? Your, um, Christmas one. You gave a bunch of shit away to a lot of ninjas. Yeah, it was, uh, it was uh, like me, like uh, the the response to reinvent my reality was so crazy, and I never, I never thought like I would get a response from an album 
you know, from my music like like the way I did, and it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I just figured, you know, like I was like, man, it's it's Christmas, you know, like I I I I just felt good, like man, I'm gonna pick a couple couple people and I'm gonna just surprise the shit out of them. You know what I'm saying? Wrap them up and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like Santa Negro had to come out. <laughs> I'll say it surprised the shit out of me. Like I got the package and then I opened it up and then there was like it was Christmas presents. They were straight wrapped. I mean it was fresh. It it was pretty fresh. Yeah, I yeah, I I, I took the time personally, you know what I'm saying, the wrap gifts, you know what I'm saying? Well not me, Santa Negro did. Cause like, cause like he had came and he, and he punched me in the face and he was like, "You gonna get some motherfucking CDs?" <laughs> I thought, All right, you know, I'm I wrapped the presents crying because he fucked up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like we we fight with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like he get on my goddamn nerves. You know what I'm saying? But he did to put my ass in line when the nigga slipping. You know what I mean? Like you know, so yeah, Santa Negro was the shit. Shout out to him. I still got a black eye, but I feel good because anybody got like this, so I'm not even worried about it. Well, hell yeah, my um, my battery's about to die on this recorder. But do you have anything you want to say in closing? Um, in in closing, um, whoop whoop and all that. Uh, I hope I get picked to play the gathering this year. I would love to rock a motherfucking stage. If not, I would be on a goddamn side stage, the beat the shit stage. I play the gathering every year, but I get picked before or not. So, but it would be good to actually get picked this year. You know what I'm saying? And I'm also in the one shot contest. Um, auditions is coming up February 13th in Chicago. I will be representing the fam. You know, so I'm trying to do that. So make sure y'all get out there and vote because I also got my video out there. So know that. That's what's up. We'll make sure to put some links in the comments for you over on uh, on the YouTube when we upload this. You already know. Oh, oh yeah, one more thing. One more thing. Shout out to my homie, Scott Henderson. That's, yo, real talk. That's another homie of mine who's been holding me down since day one. All spirits of the Dark Carnival. Yeah, I said it's government. I sure did. You can punch me in the face later. It's cool. <laughs> You're actually the the first. We were talking about this earlier. You're the first in the tunnels interview. So, you know, it's been awesome having you back. Yo, it's, yo, it's crazy you said that because I was just... I was just flabbergasted over that. I was like, wow. <laughs> like, you get back. I was like, damn, I was first. That's crazy. I'm... I just want to thank uh, you, homie, Tally Too Fresh, uh, Scotty Two Balls, Beastmaster, Spirits of Dark Carnival. Spirits of Dark Carnival have, has always shown me love since I started. So has North Carolina Juggalos and Juggalettes. That's why I'm doing this contest or whatever because, like, the people who showed me love, I... I appreciate it, you know, and, and you know what I'm saying, so, like, I appreciate each and every one of y'all, and that's real talk. That's what's up, man. Alright, so, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. You guys make sure to check out JPK, go hit up that contest, you know, like his page that he got going on so that we can get him to the gathering, you know, he's gonna be, he's gonna be representing Juggalos in that what is it, the one spot shot? What do you call it? No, it's a uh, one shot. The one shot, okay. Yeah, like, I'm representing the fam, and I'm trying to go in. Like, supposed to be, supposed to be on t TV. Oh, that's well, what's up. We'll, we'll see. Either <laughs> way, I'm I'm going, and I'm holding it down for the fam. Yeah, I mean, you know I'm going to throw a whoop whoop and all that in there somewhere. <laughs> so, know that. That's what's up. All right, this has been Cali Green Too Fresh in the Tunnels with JPK. Car Carnival Spirits, Ninjas in Action. Know that. Know that. All right, we out. All right, player.